Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5, folks. Today we have got Texas Motor Speedway, the Bariatric Solutions 300 coming right up, 100 laps. We have upgraded the car. We are 95s across the board now. Excited about that. Car is all prepped up. We're just going to head on over there. We will see you right before qualifying. Friend of the year, we are slow. We're going to have to make it up through the draft because we are absolutely not going to get anything close to a 29.225. We're 95s across the board, not 100s across the board, so we're still not competing for wins. I mean, we are, but we're not competing for domination, I should say. But that's all right, because with the draft, I believe we can get to where we need to get to. But first, we're going to get out here and do a little bit of qualifying. Well, there we go. We're going to start in the back, because for some reason, I lost it in the quad oval for no reason at all. I was adjusting my mic, but I didn't think, well, whatever. Ah, good times. Top five, Bryce Egan, John Perez, Matt Malone, Gary Norton, and Max Cost. Lane Tibber again, seventh. Michael Chavez, ninth. Jeremiah Graham, 21st. Eliza Bethel, 25th. Casey Kane, 27th. Matthias Espinosa, 28th. AJ Hill, 29th. Timothy Mathis, 30th. Bernardo De Oliveira, 31st. Taylor Carpenter, 32nd. David Schildhouse, 33rd. Parker Smith, 34th. And Bradshaw Stout, 35th. Well, it's not what we wanted, but it's what we got. So let's get out here and take a look at your pre-race information. Shieldhouse not having a good practice. And Parker Smith is our friend. Bryce Egan is a pole winner. I actually went through it after the race last week and checked. We actually only have two neutrals. Max costs his arrival. Everyone else is a friend. Not even just po polite or something. They're all friends, so that's pretty cool. We've been doing pretty good work on the track. Staying off of people's bumpers and things like that. But now, well, this is... This race will be interesting. We're in the back right now. We're obviously a lot faster than back cars. So we're going to try to go around the top side maybe a little bit. No, maybe. See if I can get some kind of speed coming out of turn number two. And then get around Shieldhouse. Jump to the inside. Take one or two more spots. Get up in behind these fine vehicles. So we've got Timothy Mathid, Mathis and Matthias Espinosa right in front of us. And another newcomer. Wow, we are really loose off. Holy crap, what's going on there? I'm telling you, I practiced a bunch. We didn't get loose off at all. Now we got loose off in qualifying and loose off right there. Anyway, AJ Hill right here as well. So we're going to bump into Mathis a little bit, but no big deal. I don't really... Just hanging out behind Casey Kane. We're going to let the car fade up. Still a little loose, but I think I think we've had troubles here with that before, and I think we'll be all right. We'll figure it out again like we always do. Taking this highlight again, but we got on the gas early, so we're going to get around Casey Kane. And we've got Cole Cusser, Greg Galding in front of us. We moved up nine positions in just a couple laps, so I feel good about that. And exit of four that time was just fine. We'll just have to be a little more cautious about how we exit with when we're around other cars. So we're going to gain pretty heavily on Anthony Alfredo. We've got Eliza Bethel right in front of us. Get to her inside. Still there. Just trying to keep everything smooth here. There. Feeling good. Long race. I mean, long race. Got loose out there, but we were able to catch it and not lose much speed at all. Stay on the bottom here. Not much I can do but just hang out in the draft with... Oh! I forgot, so for some reason, Tommy Joe Martins doesn't show up on the team thing, so he is a rival as well. I forgot about him, but he's running the high line, so I'm not really worried about it, and he's kind of far back from where we're going to be. That's what I assume. I say that, but we're up to 22nd place, 21st place, and we're not really going anywhere, so we got to pay attention to that. And here comes Greg Galding on the inside, so I'm going to go high and see if I can get around... Sheldon Creed or get a nice run into Brennan Poole's draft. Careful. Still there. 
see what we can do is Greg Golden gets a really nice run and we actually got tight off just mild contact with the wall snapping loose all of a sudden that's awesome 16 left in stage number one so expecting the stages not to be super long 21 in the tank 22 stages so probably uh 22 22 and with the caution lap something close to like 50 for your final run that loose off that we just had really negatively impacted us so just trying to trying to get back with it not a fast car today it's unfortunate but we definitely do not have a fast car today Also, my camera is off a little bit. Let's see if I can fix it on the back stretch. It's one step too high. Wow. That wasn't great. Oh, I will do it the next time around. I forgot what button it was. We're gaining on Creed and Custer, so this whole pack in front of us again, which is good. Uh, we've slowed down a little bit, but we're right in the draft, and that arrow package may be helping us there. So that's good. We're just one step out of 100. We've got, it's going to cost us a total of $6 million to get the car fully upgraded to 100. Just over $6 million. So it's going to be a... A little while before we get to that point, that's for sure, but we'll do what we can. Goal here is obviously a top 15, as always. And you just saw we got loose again. Loose coming off of four. Back end is just going nuts on me right now. And it's only coming out of four. We're fine coming out of one and two. There we go. I have a modded camera on here, so as you can see, it gives a bunch of different angles that are super not helpful for driving. But they're there for, they're good for um, my thumbnails. Which is why some, most of my thumbnails are really unique in comparison to what you get standard. Now they're unique. I just started doing that a couple, maybe this season, I think. Well, we're up with this group. What do we do? You know? I don't know. Can we get around him on the outside? Probably not. Are we going to get loose off again? Maybe. Do I... When I come through this area, do I, like, come off the gas? And Yeah, that worked really well, but... We're also going to lose speed if we're not in the draft, so... We got a caution coming out. We're far enough back. I'm going to go ahead and pit. I think it'd be fun. Matthias Espinosa out of the race. Unfortunate for that team. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Ready. Green flag. Green flag waves again. Austin Hill, Matt Kenseth back here with David Schildhouse. Austin Hill, Matt Kenseth both pit with us. They've got the same thought in their heads with just seven to go. How far up can we get? I think that's a lot of fun. You got room. You're clear. Get to the inside of Schildhouse. Get right up on Bradshaw Stout. Got a decent runoff. Had to come off the gas a little bit there, so that's going to stunt our run. But if I can get around Parker Smith right here, I can work up the track, which will help us not wig out. When we're on fresh tires, we can definitely run that higher line really well off. And now we've got Mathis and Kane, Junior, Hale. Hale working his way up. I mean, he's a newcomer. He's got one of the lowest ratings for a driver on here. So he's doing well with what he's got. And we have got Matt Kenseth running with us, trying to get up through the pack. We were in 22nd when we pit. We're in 24th right now. So definitely behooves us with seven left to pit like we did, which again, kind of like the last race, 
in the Cup Series. We learned that. We learned that benefit early on. And it's always nice when you're early in a race to experiment with things like that and see where you're going to end up. Got a little loose, but we were able to handle it no problem. Four left, plus one on the chart from pre-pit stop, pre-caution, so that's good. Can we get to the top ten, get some points before the end of the stage? Probably not, but we definitely are getting some nice runs. We're back up with that group we had just caught up to the last time. Yeah, that drive out of four is really rough for us. Three left in the stage, though. We'll be all right. I'd love to get a huge run around and pass Jeffrey Earnhardt. Oh, what a big run, actually. Is that Greg Alding up there? It is. Wow, he's having a good go at it, too. He's fast. Ooh, little contact with Earnhardt. Not bad, though. Not bad. We lost 15th, but I think we'll get it back at the latest on the back stretch. See if we can hang it in here. There we go. Huge run out of two. Hang on to it with these fresh tires. We got our way up to 15th place, so we know we can get here. We just need much better tires than everyone else to do it at this point. But, you know, whatever it takes. Am I right? You know I'm right. When no one's around, we can do what um, what we just did and avoid getting that loose off. It's just when we're around other cars, we have to... We can't let the car fade up if there's a car on our outside. Or we can't fade all the way down to the bottom and get use the whole track. Just those are the types of problems we were having. But as we round turn number three, I would suspect that this stage will end before we cross the line being in 15th place. We did catch Brennan Poole's draft, and I believe that if we had more time in the stage, maybe we're trying to get to a top 10. I guess that's our goal for stage number two. Top 10 for stage one. Well, let's just look at your custom drivers. Max Kosh, John Perez, Gary Norton, Lane Tibbergen. Matt Malone, Bryce Egan, Michael Chavez. Just trying to see where we get on the restart. Hoping to get a bit of a jump here. We've got uh, Bryce Egan on the outside, kind of dropping back. Catch a huge run up to Sammy Smith's bumper. Can't do anything about it, though, because, well, he's right there. So we're going to ease on in front of Brennan Poole. Let the car fade off as it should. See if we get a nice run through two again. I'm going to try to do it on the outside. Oh, we got tight. Well, we didn't get tight. I turned in wrong and messed up. It wasn't us getting tight. It was me screwing up. That's going to cost us one position. And with Brandon Jones there, I can't get around him or anything. And now we're going to lose a spot to Brandon Poole. So that's not what we want. Get it back together, man. 17 left in stage two. There we go. Get a nice run through one and two. We get a really good runs at this track through one and two. I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong through three and four because... Well, honestly, we shouldn't be doing poorly and we're... And look at them. They're just driving away from us. So obviously we're doing something wrong. But we can only hold about 170, 171 through the turn. So I don't quite understand what's causing that. Then we do the same through one and two. And at the end, we usually get a nice run. This time we didn't, though. We're kind of stuck in our spot right now. I don't want to drive down too far. Well, I mean, I'll stay down now because we're behind everyone. But the thing that I'm worried about is the loose out of four. Little checkup from Sammy Smith due to Daniel Hemrick dropping down in front of him. Kind of cut his nose off a little bit. Somebody up there is just living on the high line. Crazy. I think we might be able to take a spot with that draft. Maybe. Try not to uh, use up as much speed going through three and four. 
I think we did better that time. I just don't... Here we go. Let's get something going here. We got Sammy Smith getting to the inside of Hemrick. We got a runoff on the outside. We're going to split him. Or we're actually going to make him split us. And we're going to lose all of our momentum. Perfect. We didn't have him passed. So I wasn't able to drive the car down like I wanted to. And we almost clipped the wall because of it. So that sucked. See if we can catch Sammy Smith's draft coming out. That would pull us in front of Hemrick, and it does. We got a nice pull there, and that's going to help us drive down in front of him. And that's going to prevent him from passing us on the inside. And we're in Smith's draft, so that's going to pull us up and put a little gap between us and Hemrick. That's nice with just 12 to go in stage number two. In the draft with Sammy Smith, that's going to do very well for us. Down the backstretch, we're going to jump to the inside. Get a little loose, trying to get to his inside. That wasn't great for us, but we got there. Really wanted Josh Berry's draft there, but we did not lose the spot to Smith, which was a big deal. And we did just at the end of that catch Josh Berry's draft. And so that's going to give us the gap on Smith. If we can hang on to it coming out of two, which we did, should be right back in the draft. And worked our way up to 12th place, having a much better stage number two than we did a stage number one. So that's good. And I think that we can do the same thing we just did to Smith to Mr. Josh Berry as we go through one and two. Get up behind him. Get a good run. Draft. Catch some of that speed. Get to his inside. Now, if we could get into Chavez and Galding's draft, that would be huge. But instead, we don't. And Josh gets a nice run on the outside because I was looking at the relative and came off the gas way too much going through three and four. Reset and do it again as Sammy Smith has gotten back up into the race with us. Not helpful, but not much I can do here because I don't want to cause relational issues with Barry, so I didn't want to hit him hard. I just give him a little tiny bump. Apparently it helped him, though, because we didn't catch him then. Got a little loose, but we were all right. We're doing a lot better uh, driving this one, too. Eight laps to go, and the car is doing better through... Three and four. Trying to get that run through one and two on the outside of Josh Berry. And it depends on what our straightaway speed is like, but it looks like we're going to get a nice enough run to potentially. Oh, he's got that inside line. He's making a run at it. And I got. I don't know if we touched. Oh, that's bull. Don't bring out a caution for that. So we barely touched. We're staying out. Um, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, we're going to seven last. There'll be five remaining. We're not going to get back up here, but we'll clean up the car. All right. Be smart out there. Going green. Be ready. Anyway, I don't know if we touched him or if I just got scared and straightened out the wheel. It all happened so fast that we ended up getting super tight and going up into the wall. Sucked. Stay low. Stay low. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Lane is back here with us. I'm like, who is driving that fast? It's one of the leaders, and we are stuck behind everyone right now. Wow. And I make a... I don't know. This is not going to go the way that it needed to for us to make big gains, but... Just three laps to go in stage number two, and we are... Oh, well, we're not in a super great spot, but whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter to us right now. Nothing I can do here. Just get caught up in the... in all of it. Inside, inside. 
Trying to get a nice run here in the draft. Pulls us forward. Really, really slick. Off of four, though. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was pretty bad. Whoa, what? The heck was that? Oh, Timber again on the inside of Smith. So we were actually three wide, and I didn't realize it. I thought he was going to be able to drive it down farther. That was bad. Max Goss leading your race right now as he'll bring it around to one to go in stage number two. And we have damage on the car again because of the contact we had that put us up into the wall. I thought we were in a better spot. I should have just kept the car out for stage two and finished where we finished. With the other cars that pit, we actually probably would have finished in the top ten. So that was a bonehead decision on my part. Sucked. Yeah, we're gonna... The stage about to end right now. That was terrible. Terrible decision by me. Leaders that pit under caution with us earlier did not pit that time. We did. We decided to pit again. Start stage number three, the final stage of the race. Back here in 29th place. Making it look like we're having a bad race, but we really aren't. We're just hanging out with some of the newcomers. What am I doing? This is a three gear setup and I just shifted to fourth. That was interesting for me. Uh oh, apron, apron, apron. We're good. Wow. Good, good at feathering the gas. We are not moving up very well, but we'll pick them up. I mean, we've got a lot of time left to go. I think we still have a half of race to go. Gary Norton in the lead. I'll be going over the standings post-race, so stick around, or if you're a skipper, skip forward to the end of the race, I guess. Staying around helps me out big time, though, just so you know. So if you like the channel, please do your best to stick around the videos if you can. I appreciate the support. All right, get around Junior. He's having a bad race. Jump to the inside again of Bethel. Starts to work. Uh, Jeremiah Graham, Jeffrey Earnhardt. Half down, half to go. Yeah, see, we still have half a race to go. Green flag stops potential, so we've got some time for things to happen. Got some shifting going around there with Jeffrey Earnhardt and Ryan Ellis. I see smoke in front of us. I absolutely see smoke in front of us. Cars are moving all over the place. It's Matt Kenseth. Not sure what's going on with his car, but we'll pick up a couple spots there, and he is going to bring out a caution. Yeah, I jumped all the way back. I felt like fresh, fresh tires are definitely a better thing to have happen. Matt Kenseth is out of the race. David Schildhaus having a really bad race. Being all the way back here in the end. It did talk about that pre-race information. Just not expected from that team, but I guess it happens to everyone. I know, I get quiet sometimes, it's because all of a sudden I'll focus. Especially on restarts. Caught the wall a little bit, we were three wide with Kane and Parker Smith. I didn't want to cause issues with either of them, so that's why we tagged the wall a little bit. But, you know, we ended up alright, and our runoff of two is going to be really nice. Let's see if we can split through here. Very nice! Yeah, I don't know if Kenseth ended up getting run into by someone. That's what brought the caution out. Or just throw slow car on track. 
made the officials think of safety and throw that caution. All right, here we are. Driving back up through the group. Couple three wide instances because I'm just keeping it on the outside. We're faster than these other cars at this point, so... If there's anybody side by side, we're just going high. And it's worked out so far. Got Bethel on the inside. A similar paint scheme to Ryan Truex. It's not the same, but it, you know, same colors and stuff. As we pass him, start to work on Jeremiah, Graf Jeremiah Graham's draft to help pull us up to the rest of the group. And the caution flies again. Whoa! We're going to pit. Big accident. And unfortunately, I think one of those cars was Gary Norton. Yeah, Norton pits. He's still in the race, though. So good for him. See what he can do. He's led in this race at one point. So we'll see if he can get it back up there. We appear not to have been hit with that penalty bug that you get from having contact post-caution. So that's good because even though we're in the back, we aren't getting driven away from. Because we are going to get a couple of positions through one and two right off the bat. This is... Hold on. Stay high up here. Ellis has some damage on his right rear. I just noticed that right rear um, fender looks like it's pulled out by the tire. It is. See how nice that left side is? And we get over the right, it's like crinkled in and bent out at the same time. It's crazy. Anyway. Ooh, AJ Hale. Damage on the front end. He was involved in that wreck as well, I guess. He's still doing very well for the ratings that that driver has. Trying to see if I can work this outside line and not get loose off. Yeah, we got... It's just a quick snap. As long as... I mean, we've got the fresh tires, we're okay. Wow, Ryan Ellis making moves. Um, fresh tires are okay, but when we don't have fresh stuff, that quick snap can be a race ender for us, so... A lot of people have not pit. Strategy could come into play for us here because we pit every time. And so, yeah, we have slightly better tires than some of the people. But more importantly, they're going to have to pit before us. We've got 24 in the tank, 35 in the race. So we're looking at 11 laps to go before we pit the final time. And depending on tire wear, maybe we can do a quick... Wow, Jeremiah Graham, a lot of damage too. Maybe we can do a quick gas and go and finish this race off higher than we should have. We'll see what happens. We've made our way back up to 17th, but of course we came from the back, so some gaps have already been created. As the race continues on with our fresh tires and such, we should be able to catch these other drivers. I'm hoping. I'm going to check it. I'm going to make a note to check for a different setup for the Texas car. This one's giving the wobble, and it's not, it's not good. I didn't notice it until stage two and haven't really talked about it, but through one and two, when we go real high speed, we get the wobble. And I think that that burns them up a little bit more than normal. Well, within a second of Josh Berry and Brennan Poole. And the truth is we haven't had a speed up in this race and we need to. So let's go ahead and speed things up right now. And we'll get back on the mic with you. Well, when everybody starts to pit.
All right, we got a number of cars starting to finally pit. We had a handful that pit earlier, but now the bulk of them are pitting. And this is where things get pretty important. Will we be able to run it out? Will we, I mean, run out till we pit? What kind of benefit could that bring us? We could have a lot of cars a lap down. Norton's not going to pit. That was Austin Hill. Yeah, Austin Hill's going to pit, though. And we should, I was going to say, we should end up in second. Gary Norton pit with us, so he's going for the whole time. Um, unfortunately, if a caution comes out, he'll likely pit, and that's going to make everybody get their lap back. So that kind of sucks. A lot of the cars that were at the end of the lead lap just pit as well. As we put everybody for the most part except for David Schildhouse a lap down. So we have got a nice spot right here for us, but that's not going to last that way. Gary Norton's driving way. We're not as strong of a car as that team. Wow, getting a really nice run on Alfredo, though, even on older tires, we're able to catch him. Oops. Six left in the tank. I don't know what I'd rather have. I don't know if I'd rather pit or have a caution come out and pit under caution. I think under caution because we would not be thinking about pit road entry or anything like that. trying to hold Alfredo down but he's got a good run he's got that fresh all fresh tires and everything so we just Careful. side by side racing he just can't seem to break away. He's going to now. I slowed down a little bit more that time. I wonder if I can get a run and get to his inside. Coming out of two. Not that it even matters. We got a pit in four laps or something, so. But I'm just having fun right now. It helps from keeping, sitting out here when there's nothing we're doing that's going to be. Whoa, what the? Well, that was a little strange, but I was about to say there's nothing we can do to make it fun. Oh, caution came out. Not for us. There's no way it came out for us. Oh, we come out behind Shield House. Everybody got a free pass. They're all right behind us. We could get absolutely pile drived right now. The only thing that we have going for us is we do have a few lap fresher tires than these other cars. But, and there is the potential that someone like Shield House could hold up some of the pack because he's having a rough race. We're going to jump to the inside of Norton and try to get as much of a gap as possible. I don't know how, how long that's going to last, but with just a handful of laps left in this race, I don't know, we could be not, not vying for a victory. I'd be shocked if we pull a victory out here. I guess it's physically possible, but we got John Perez here trying to three-peat. Well, no, trying to get his fourth. Is it his fourth, third, or fourth win of the season, though. And he is just fast. He got around the other cars really fast, and there he is going to get around us. Let's see if I can get into his draft and hopefully get pulled up. I'd love to not lose touch with him as Max Koss is now catching up. He wants... He definitely has something to say to Perez to try to get around him, try to get a victory. 
Egan's here. We're not giving up. We are not giving up. I just don't know if we've got what it takes, but if we're here at the end, maybe we make some good moves and get that victory ourselves. It's unlikely, but things fall into the way that they fall into. Here comes Costo. He's going to probably run into us. Nope. Sorry. Rather take third place than get destroyed by cost. It's not worth it to me. Not worth it to me. Maybe I'll be able to catch back up with those two and at least put some separation between us and the rest of the pack simply from the draft, but otherwise I just... I know it might be a little pussy move or something, but it's what I have to do to preserve my car, preserve my race, preserve my season. A DNF takes all that money away and we're in the top three right now and we shouldn't be, so the fact that we're doing what we are doing is is good. Wow, this this wheel chatter though, it's gonna put us up on the wall almost. And all of a sudden the rest of the group is right behind us. Dang it. I'm gonna focus for a minute here, maybe uh Maybe not talk quite as much. I do not want Gary Norton pa I mean they're going to. I don't think I have anything for him. I'm hoping that, yeah, we have a better drive off, but Gary Norton's fresh stuff like we are, so. But we got a better drive off. That was good. Here they come. Huge run on the inside. I'm not going to go down and block him because I couldn't get there in time anyway. Norton, Egan right there. Nothing I can do. Trying to get on the gas enough to still have Egan there so he can't go up into the draft with Norton and that pulls us back up in front a little bit. It's just not, nothing's happening. It's what we thought was probably going to happen. If we're fortunate enough because of the draft, we might, might be able... We may be able to... Um, Jeez, come on now. Stay with these cars and not lose any more position. Sorry. Trying to get it out, but also trying to drive tight with these guys so I don't lose a spot to Malone. Trying to get down in front of him. Yeah, but then the car fades up and we lose it coming out. Good news. We're still in the draft. Again, that arrow package we just added on to the 95 really showing up here. As we're catching draft pretty easily now. But I don't think we have anything for Norton. I don't think we have anything for Egan. So just being able to maintain with them right now would be the biggest thing we can do. And we touch the apron. That's going to shoot us up the track. Open the door for Malone. Tibber Ken right there. Dropping back to seven. Just nothing I can do about this. Doing the best I can, boys. Two left in the race. John Perez still racing pretty heavily last time I checked. That yeah, looks like cost a little bit side by side with Perez up there. As I try to do anything I can and it's just not working. It's not panning out for me. I mean, in good news, last lap of the race, we're in the top 10. We're secured on that 15th place finish. That's all great, but I want more. And we have a chance to get more potentially here. If I can clear Malone, I didn't clear him. Can I grab the draft of... All right, Egan. Keep it. Maybe keep sixth place. Maybe if Egan and I can work to... Oh, no, I got loose. I got loose and scrubbed off just a little bit of speed. And what well, we pass. We get sixth place. We get past Malone on that one. That was a good race for us. Max Cost is able to pull out the victory by a tenth and a half. John Perez comes in second. Gary Norton third. Bryce Egan fourth. Lane Tippergan fifth. We come in sixth. Matt Malone seventh. We beat him by under a tenth or one hundredths of a second. David Schildhouse ends up in 20th. Good for him. Having a rough race all day long. Pulls out a top 20. Jeremiah Graham 23rd. Eliza Bethel 24th. 
Taylor, Carpenter, 28th. A.J. Hale, 29th. Casey Kane, 30th. Bernardo De Oliveira, 31st. Parker Smith, 32nd. Bradshaw Stout, 33rd. Michael Chavez, 34th. And Matt Kenseth and Matias Espinosa, along with Michael Chavez, DNF'd in this one. Fastest lap of the race goes to John Perez. Most laps led goes to Max Cost. On the move, we started last, finished in sixth. And Michael Chavez, tough break for that team, DNFing. Well, we're going to go ahead and take our number 84, Aris Toyota Camry JGR Racing Cup car right off the holler and do Texas Speedway in uh, the Cup Series in the next episode. Taking a look at your point standings for the Xfinity Series, Max Cost leads the way. With 304 points, Lane Timmergan in second place, Matt Malone third, John Perez fourth, Bryce Egan fifth, we're in sixth place. Austin Hill, Ryan Ellis, Tommy Joe Martins, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Gray Golden, Cole Custer, Sheldon Creed, eighth through 14th. Gary Norton, 15th place. He had a shot in that last race and it just didn't come out for him, but he had a, he had a nice race. He's got a lot of stage points. Sammy Smith, 16th. Michael Chavez, 17th, Josh Berry, Brandon Poole, Anthony Alfredo, Sam Mayer, Brandon Jones, 18th through 22nd. Dale Jr., David Schildhaus, Eliza Bethel, Matt Kenseth, Ryan Truex, Timothy Mathis, Jeremiah Graham, Taylor Carpenter, 23rd through 30th. A.J. Hale, Casey Kane, Bernardo De Oliveira, Bradshaw Stout, Parker Smith, and Matthias Nes Espinoza are your... Well, last set of drivers, Kaz Grala in here, but does not race. So as I said in the next episode, we will be running at Texas Speedway. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'd like to take a moment to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.